Magandang araw mga kapatid, kapuso at kapamilya. Good news sa mga estudyante na nangarap maging opisyal sa barko. Minamadali na ng Maritime Industry Authority o Marina ang matagal ng nabimbing circular na guidelines for the onboard training of cadets on Philippine registered ships engaged in domestic shipping. Matagal na ang problema sa cadet ship training sa bansa. Sa tinatayang 25,000 estudyante nakatapos ng academic requirements sa BS Marine Transportation or BSMT at BS Marine Engineering o BS Marine bago ang pandemya, halos 5,000 lang ang nakasasampa for onboard training o OBT. Dahil sa matinding ako lang sa cadet ship birds, marami sa mga nag-aral ng BSMT at BS Marine ang bigong maging opisyal sa barko dahil kulang sila ng required one year onboard training. Bunga ito ng kalagayan ng ilan lang sa mga local shipping companies ang tumatanggap na kadete sa kanilang barko. Para malutas ang matagal na problema ng ito, nagkasundo ang mga maritime schools, mining agencies at mga domestic ship owners na ilunsad ang talent requisition program sa pangunguna ng archipelago, Philippines Ferries, ang operator ng fast cut ferries. Isang archipelago sa mga domestic ship owners na nag-o-offer ng cadet ship training sa mga maritime schools sa pamamagitan ng kanilang barkong fast cut ferries. Dahil sa inisyatibang ito, nagpasalamat ang isa sa mga leader ng Accra Partidist Group na si Captain Ronald Enrile kay Ms. Marianne Pasana, Presidente ng Archipelago sa webinar na itinaos ka makailan ng Women in Maritime Philippines o Mimapil na may topic na Developing Stronger Pipeline of Maritime Professionals. Sa naturang forum, pinuuri ni Captain Enrile, the Vice President din ng Philippine Transparent Carriers o PTC, ang program na pinasimulan ni Ms. Pastrana. I would like to thank uh, Ms. Pastrana uh, Archipelago for uh, collaborating with Philcomsat and with PTC and we hope that we can develop uh, competent officers for archipelago vessels and also give them opportunities to work on international vessels. Because what we want is uh, to have uh, competent officers and crew, not only for international vessels, but for local vessels. So I think we should continue that and I encourage all the domestic uh, owners to, to work with the uh, with uh, the mining agencies and with training centers. And also for, for us to give a chance for the cadets who are aiming to become seafarers. I think uh, we would like also to ask Marina if uh, we, can, we can have an inventory of uh, domestic vessels who can accommodate cadets. Because that is always the challenge. We have a lot of students who are completing their uh, their academics and ready for shipboard training, but unfortunately, they are not given the chance. Most of them are, are trying to hire for a berth on international vessel, but these are limited. So I think that, that that's a call that I want to make. I think uh, we need to, to study and and. Uh, and uh, follow the examples that Archipelago is doing. They are really training their, uh, they're really giving opportunities for cadets to be trained. So uh, we have to work together. And, 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 and uh, with the help of admin, admin the drug, I think this is doable. We need to just identify how many vessels are over 500 gross tonnets and how many cadets can they accommodate. So, at least we know annually how many cadets we can we can train. And I think what is important is to really have a cadet training program that would prepare them to become officers. Sa panig naman ng Archipelago, tiniyak ni Ms. Mastrana na siya rin Vice President ng Winopil na kayang-kayang matutas ang problema sa kakulangan sa masasakyang barko para sa OBT. Ito ay sa pang magitan ng nabagin ng talent requisition program na partnership ng PASCAT at 20 maritime schools at mining agencies kasama ang PTC at mga training centers para sa OBT.
makakatulong ng malaki ang programang ito para mas maraming karete ang makakakuha ng kanilang onboard training. But yes, we can. We just have to really sit down, work together in making this happen. And people, his, this is historical in the sense that PTC and, and FASCAT and the schools uh, with, with mariners here, PAMI, PAMP TCI, have already agreed that yes, this is the way to go through women in maritime, the young people who are here, so that we can have a strong pipeline of maritime professionals. With that, thank you very much for listening. Gusto ba ninyo ng balita sa maritime industry? Mag-subscribe na at i-click ang notification bell para updated kayo sa mga susunod natin video sa ECW News. Salamat po!